Hello and welcome to another episode of Viking Conquest Bloody Good Campaign on Kogata Gaming. Last time we left off with a successful raid on Merchantmen, we also won a tournament. And just as we sold our loot from a recent encounters, we have spotted another trader. So I'm in pursuit of this trader because uh, we want we want money, we want prestige, and we demand something from you. What do you want? Hand over your gold and values now. Of course I'm robbing you. Now hand over your goods. Damn you, you won't get anything from us without a fight. Just as we like it. I know this is important to actually go into formation. Because... Un unlike on a boat, we are in a field battle and therefore we have to... Stay together and try to minimize our own losses. Uh, try to capture, hit somebody with the spears. It's always advantage to stay in formation. Once they impact us, we start again and the lot goes flank. I try to go through the ranks successfully. Of mayhem and destruction, although I had a couple of spears to keep in mind. But. Nevertheless, we succeeded. Putting them down. Took a couple of hits there. Didn't expect that to happen. Well. Definitely have a spear in our left arm, and the piercing damage of the of the spear is in the back. That's some nasty business. Even so, I I put my shield on the back to improve our protection. Didn't help this time. I'm sorry, it's a little bit dark here, but it's still dawn, and it is winter. And as you can see, one of the features of the Ludio uh, mod is over total overhaul mod is. It makes the game more gritty, darker, and I truly like that vibe. It's it's sticking to the um, origins of the Viking Conquest DLC in the first place, which is based on the Britain Waller mod, if you know that. It's actually free for download, and that had the very same art style. So I'm really, really like enjoying that. Now I lost a couple of men, three in total, but that's not too bad. And we've taken more prisoners, but apparently we're already at our limit. So we're going for the share the loot option. This is usually the standard option you should go for. Basically, right now, we're not looking for any particular loot. This may change, however, for example, if we're tasked to require certain items, then of course, you would pick the loot first and then leave more for the for a men. So we uh, basically outbalance the penalty because they don't like it if we, we have a, our first pick. So, oh, they still got a ton of stuff. And in fact, we leveled some of our men. Maybe maybe I should I should uh, give you a, a quick overview of the troop tree for the Norse. Because this is something the Total Overhaul mod Blood Eagle changes. Uh, it completely remapped the whole troop tree for every single faction. And as you can see, both high level troops are now called Hassel. Basically, Heavy infantry uh, troops with spears, and there's actually um, also a troop tree for women now, because Vikings were accompanied by shield maidens. Now let's return to Cardiff and sell some of the loot, and then continue to Ireland because that is actually our destination. Because we are tasked to acquire a certain book from a monastery. Now look at that. We can uh, use that helmet and give it to one of our men. Oh, 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 uh, no. I uh, have to be careful. Of course, we cannot sell anything here because uh, we already sold them a ton of stuff and they won't be able to buy it. Oh, a wandering skull. Let's talk to this guy. Greetings to you, most noble sir. What is it that you do? I compose and write songs for the lords of the land and the ladies. 
sometimes a thing about war, sometimes about the virtues of kings, and sometimes for the more sophisticated audiences about the virtues of wine. For most audiences, however, a thing of love. Can I answer any other questions for you? Uh, tell me about marriage and love among the nobility of the Northlands. Nobles are an odd lot. In the Northlands, a daughter is a political asset to be given away to a lord with whom her father wishes to make an alliance. Oh, interesting. Yet the great families of his land idolize pure love between men and women. And I have seen many hardened warrior weep copious tears at the doomed ardor of Gwen Hirfer of Lübeck, Lübeck in the bard songs, even as he made plans to break his own daughter's heart. Fathers differ, of course. Some nobles will well, let their daughter choose a husband who pleases them. Others, however, feel that to follow their daughters, any choice at all would be to banish their own authority and insist on imposing a groom whether she likes it or not. But the majority will steer their middle course. They will want to make the final decision about the groom, but will weigh their daughter's preferences heavily. Among other factors, a happy marriage is more likely to produce heirs, so there is still a place for courtship and for the use of skill and passion to win a lady's heart. Oh, that sounds complicated indeed. You have any other questions? Well, um, well, that's fine for now. But can you teach me any uh, poems? I can teach you the tale of Aeneas and Dido. Oh, that's an old story from the Trojan Wars. Interesting. Yes, teach me that one. Well, well, repeat after me. But anxious cares already seize the queen. Very good, but there are many stanzas to go. Now listen closely. Okay. So we learned the first poem, which is very important for our courtship, which we will engage into, well, at some later stage, I guess. Uh, for now, let's sail from port and let's continue to travel to Ireland and seek out a certain monastery to acquire a book. So we learn about the whereabouts of Swambulnik's hideout. And of course, if we catch any... Well, our inventory is pretty full right now, so let's see if we can drop off our loot. But of course, it's always tempting to go for this trade, man. These traders. So much juicy loot to be had. And we need the money. We need to build up an army. We need to acquire more ships, better ships. We need to invest in internal ships. We basically build a power base in order to proceed our goal, which is to destroy Swan Bullneck and his allies in Frisia. There's, a, in fact, the monastery we were supposed to go, so we could head there right away. Although it's night by time, so let's hold on off for that. We have to return in the morning. And let's head to Dublin first, sell a loot, enjoy our little bit of wine and company. And apparently there's a trailer from Alban running from some Vikingers, and the Vikingers are chasing us. But right now I'm more interested in dropping off the loot, and then we will pursue them right away, if they are still around. Now let's trade with the merchant man. We can sell a couple of wine here. And upon that, let's see some ivory maybe, soapstone, mead. And some jewels, some furs. Very valuable indeed. Very valuable indeed. We are making a lot of money here. Um, always checking to see if we can get some better weapons, but not yet it seems. We're keeping the helmet for one of our companions. Keep that in mind. Painted round shield. Yeah, I like my shields to be faster, in fact. That's better than a heavier shield, a sturdier shield, although it is slower. In, in close combat, you always go for speed. Speed is of the essence. And look at that, there are some interesting heavy throwing spears. We do have the same type. Large bag of throwing spears. Speed rating 88. Yeah, we definitely want these guys. 
They do a little bit less damage, but we have one more spear and their speed rating is higher. So that's definitely an advantage. Now let's sell some more stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Do we have anything on the horse merchant? Maybe, yes. Let's get rid of all these items. Now look at that, a chipped... Oh, that's an interesting weapon. Look at that. A chipped big hand axe. It's a piercing damage weapon. Um, which I would prefer over a slashing damage weapon. And we can actually repair it. We can repair it. We just have to find a certain uh, tradesman. I think there is a good smith in Dublin. We can seek this man out and repair it. Try to uh, repair his item. That will actually be a good plan. Now let's um, let's stroll for town. Horse merchant. Let's seek out. I think over there is the weapons merchant. Maybe he can improve the weapon. That would be awesome. Eagle of Weaponsmith. There we go. Is a named weaponsmith. Named Mer weaponsmith sell special items and. Uh, they were very pricey, but very good as well. But we need to have a certain amount of fame as well. But for now, I just want to refine one of my weapons. I'd like to re uh, improve the big hand axe. Let me take a look. Your big hand axe is shipped. I think it will be able to make it plain for a f uh, 93 penny guess. Agreed. It's refined. Very well. Now I want to refine it again. Big hand axe. Let me take a look. The big hand axe is plain. I think it will be a little too heavy. Um, no, I don't want to make it heavy because heavy means it becomes slower. So we don't want to. You always have to consider um, the outcome, the possible outcome. Swords are much more improvable than axes, but now it is simply basically making more damage, and I'm all up for more damage. The next thing we want to try is to um, seek out, uh, let's go for the Wizard of Lords Hall. Go to the center town from here because I'm looking for the mayor. I'm not sure what the mayor is in this town. But we will certainly find, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit, having a little bit trouble with my mouse. Um, let's see, where is the mayor here? Mayor, where are you? Because I'd like to uh, invest some money into an inter entrepreneurship. Basically, buying a plot of land and uh, do something. Apparently, look at that. The shield is a little bit transparent. <laughs> that seems to be a texture glitch. Yeah, it's transparent from one side. <laughs> we have a glass shield. Wow, that's some true high tech there. Although, I'm not quite con convinced that is durable enough, unless it's it's bulletproof glass, of course. So I'm not sure where... Oh, yeah, he's at the harbor. I remember. I remember. He's in the harbor. In the harbor, indeed. Let's head for the harbor. I really like Dublin. It's from, from the setting and, and the, the, the theme. It's the, the, the most likeful... Um, prettiest town around here. There he is, the mayor. Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Dublin. I'm the mayor of the town. I wish to buy a farm that in this town and hire a foreman. Very good, sir. We in the town know and trust you. And I think I could find someone to sell you the land you need. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. Yeah. Now, um, there are different options. Let's try um, the brewery. Um, yeah, that's a pretty high profit, 741 penning as a week, it will change during the course of uh, gameplay, uh, and we could supply it with uh, wheat, but let's check out something else, let's try foundry, less profit. Mm, let's go for a weavery. No. And let's go for a cloth weavery. Oh, that's actually the best one for now. Right, that's a good idea. Because you have, always have to consider 
uh, what raw resources you're requiring. We can supply this uh, farms, uh, this basically this manufacturing uh, district or, or, or factory, so to speak, with resources. And the good thing is we can buy wool or load it and bring it here. And that's a pretty, pretty hefty improvement in the income if you supply with your own resources. It always pays off to think about it twice. And the good thing is Ireland has a plenty of supply uh, of wool. So we can build on that. Now we still have some money left. Uh, as you can see, the X has con improved considerably, does more damage now. Um, we should, yeah. Uh, Let's talk uh, with the mayor once more because I'd like to ask him if he has a job for us. Do you have any happen any job for me? Wow, well, we have heard that about a week ago some travelers on the road from Port Dorestad were attacked by Danish Vikinger. Dorestad. Ah, uh, Danish Vikings. We would like you to trace this Danish Viking down. The merchants of this town were able to get the description of the leader and have to put together a bounty. If you can hunt them down in the strand, will make worldwide. Okay, we can try. Very good. The band may not have lingered long in the area, but chances are they will be spotted by other travelers on the road. Right. So they are most likely on the southern route around the Isle of Wight. On the southern tip of England. That's where I would expect them to meet. Now let's sail from port. Actually, yeah, we have checked for for the bard already. Let's head for the monastery because that's actually our task. And let's go ashore and visit this village here right now. Let's see if we can get something here. Not apparently. No, I'm just checking if we can get some wool because wool, right now we're very interested in getting wool. Alright, so let's visit this abbot who apparently holds this sacred book. What may I do for you? I've come to get a book called the Katak of Kolomkal. But, but that's not possible, Lord. The Katak of Kolomkal is a relic. It is a copy made at night by the miraculous light of Kolomkal, Saint Columba. Moreover, the book doesn't even belong to us. We are just the guardians. It really belongs to the clan of Don Hale from Unail. It serves a rallying cry and protector in battle. It protects them in battle and guarantees victory in war. Do you want to become an enemy of the Unail? Ah, uh, well, if you do not give me the book, I will kill everyone here. All I say will take the book regardless and I will kill anyone who stands in my way. Hmm. We could try the pers uh, persuasion option first because we're quite charismatic. I need this book to rescue prisoners. It isn't the word of God to save lives. I'm not moved by your words. Sorry. All right. Well, in that case, we will revert to other means of persuasion. If you do not give me the book, I will kill everyone here. Take the book, I will not allow you to kill all those people, but the divine course will fall on you. Now go away, demon. Right. I'm not moved by your words. And we have succeeded in getting this magic book. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. One plus one persuasion while in inventory. And I I think uh, we should hold on to that because persuasion is very important. Very important indeed. Maybe we can find some other deal with this port master. Now let's head back to our ships and sail back to Denmark while we are pursuing... Uh, that's not the Vikings we're looking for. We're looking for Danish Vikings. Maybe we come across these men. How is our morale looking? Very high. Well, that's good indeed. Uh, we could. Let's see. Is there anything else we could uh, head for uh, the vicinity? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Hello. Hello. Trader from Alban. 
Hail friend! Well, first of all, we, we ask him about the bandits. I'm hunting a group of bandits with the following description. The roads are full of brigands, friend, but the name in your particular doesn't sound familiar. Okay. Well, in that case, I demand something from you. What do you want? <laughs> Hand over your gold. Of course I'm rubbing now. You hand over your goods. Right. We only have 60 men capable of fighting right now, but they only have six because this is the right the party we just saw outside of Dublin. So we make quick work of them and got them a loot. We pretty much ruin our reputation with uh, every Christian faction around. But I don't care. We just stay friendly with a couple, if necessary, for the time being. For we have our own motivations, our own goals, and they are well, belligerent. There we go. The skills are definitely better, more accurate, because you can throw them quick. It's very important. If you look at the um, circle. Now, quick work of this merchant man. Let's share the loot here is common. And we get another load of loot. Lots of loot. And lots of tar. That's actually very good. We should hold on to at least one of those. Because one of the next steps will be uh, maybe to build a ship. Let's see. Warlord! Brunhild is a most insolent girl. I have tried to be polite, even friendly. Only to have re rebuff me. The little chit thinks she's a warrior and not just a camp slave. Wow, that's our some harsh words there. As we were cleaning our weapons after the last battle, I remarked that I fought her a handsome girl and that I would happily find her a place with one of my renters. I explained to her that although I myself looking for a wife, I'll marry only a free woman. I thought it was a very generous offer, a man and land. An army slave is hardly going to find herself a wash in prospects, but rather than thank me, she simply turned her back without a word. It was only out of respect for her leadership, for your leadership, that I did not immediately try to reach her some teachers of manners. I really think you should discipline your slaves better. Wow. Brunel is a valuable member of this company. I do not want you to um, pick any fights with her. So they they have. Well, let's call it a troubled relationship. One of the most annoying features, or actually the most annoying feature in any Warband installation, either it's the vanilla game, or it's Warband, or it's Viking Conquest, it is the dreaded companion bubble. My worst nightmare. What, I have means to deal with them. Do not worry about it. Now let's head south. Like I said, we're trying to find these uh, Danish Vikings. They're presumably somewhere around the southern coast of England or close by to Dorestad. And in the meantime, we uh, will continue to travel to Denmark. Maybe capture a trader or two in the process. You never know, you never know what we come across. This is the fun in it. Never know what will happen. Now let's actually uh, start with a um, zigzag pattern, a search pattern, because I'm expecting them to show up in this region. Because Danish Vikings tend to spawn in this area. And I think, yeah, there are some Danish Vikings, but those are the wrong ones. Should we engage those guys? They have 23 men and we have 15. Ah. Let's hold on off for that. Because if we lose our uh, fighting capabilities right now and we find the other party, well, we can't take them down. So that's a, an issue. Because with our current numbers, we lose a couple of men against those. And I'd like to focus on the other party. And they are still chasing us. Well, in that case, come here, let's fight. They only have 40 men ready to battle anyways. You have no chance against us. Surrender now or we will kill you all. We will fight you to the end. Board the enemy. We have to be a little bit more careful with these guys as they have a couple of light warriors. No need to worry. We are prepared. 
ourselves. We can actually try this time to stay out of their reach a little while longer. And use some more spears. Try to train up our skill. Ah, there were some couple of shabby throws right there. So I'm trying to get my bearings. There we go, that was a hit. They can take quite a hit. Now the others are separated. We can actually try to improve now we're out of spears. Thus we charge into melee. There we go. No problem whatsoever. We lost a single man. Oh, we got a ship. You are able to capture one of the enemy ships. It's a building. A building. But do the fight. The resonder is in a bad condition. Do you want to add a ship to your fleet? Well, yes, of course we want to add a ship. We're not going to keep it because it's a crappy ship. But, uh, of course, a free ship is a free ship. And we captured a couple of men in the process. Um, those are Norse spearmen. I'm taking uh, the Norse. The N is uh, referring to the Norse. So we're taking a couple of these guys. We're actually dropping the sailors and take more Norse. Because the others will uh, get more upset if we loot cloisters and stuff like that. Plus, the X-Men are better. Let's release the British warrior. Let's take one more X-Men. Only taking 27 because that's the capacity of our main ship. Uh, the slave hunter. Mm. Yeah, let's get rid of the slave hunter. Let's take one more X Men. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep, that's fine. Good. Uh, take a first claim on all the loot because they are drop armor. Oh, nice. 42 22. That's almost as good as our main armor. If you if you go for those guys, and they have some allied troops, and you have a good looting skill, always go for that option, if you need equipment. Because right now we need equipment for our own uh, companions. And as you can see, there's a plenty of good uh, uh, gear around here. So I'm taking these two, that will quite uh, upset our man a little bit, but not that bad. 60 morale penalty is not that bad, we can take that. And now we can actually Give our companions some proper gear. Improve their survivability. Actually give her the helmet. Completely forgot about that. Uh, she won't be able to wear that. Can she wear that? Yeah, that's possible. That's a good armor for her. And I think Reginald should be able to wear the other one. Although I love this guy. We should equip him a little bit better nevertheless. Oh, he can't wear it. It's too heavy. 42, but you can wear the Saxon Hallberg, right? And we wear that one instead. Weight 21. No, sorry. Sorry, it's too heavy. Sorry, bro. I'm not taking that heavy. It's. It would be... I wouldn't care about that one armor point in the legs, but I do care about the weight. That's 21. 17.5, so that's lighter, which means our encumbrance would increase. It would get slower. Sorry, bro. You have to stick with what you have. Well, we keep the Hobbit nevertheless. For we will have more companions, stronger ones, capable of wearing that armor. Yeah. That's just uh, information that we now have a flagship and we can choose our flagship. Because we have a second ship now. But well, we're going to sell it. So this is the Isle of Wight. Declaration of war. The king of Alcluk has declared war against the king of Novumbria. Well, what do you know? None of her business for now. So I was expecting to meet the Danish Vikings here, but we killed a party of Danish Vikings, but apparently it was not the right one. So let's continue on our travels uh, towards Denmark. And look at that. There's a trader of Novumbria engaged with some couple Vikings. Maybe we should help them out. After all, Novumbria is an Norse kingdom. But I think that will be a task for our next episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you do so, please 
leave me a like and if you want to stay updated on the campaign subscribe see you soon and thanks for watching